Hello everybody, man. Chino Tenchino back here again with another part of our uh, Let's Play Pokemon Black. And I don't know why I just randomly hit that button. That was wrong. Anyway, I'm going to see what, um, I don't know, can learn uh, move-wise. Let's see, can he learn Dig? I doubt he can learn Dig. Let's see. Dig. Nope, can't learn Dig. Let's see. Torment, no, Rest, Attract, Thief, Retaliate. Can you learn Retaliate? Let's see. Retaliate. Nope, can't learn retaliate. Hmm. Flash, struggle bug. I mean, it's a move. I'll teach it struggle bug. Nope, can't learn struggle bug. This thing can't learn anything. Work up, grass knot, rock smash, cut. None of them are worth it. He already has mega drain. But oh well. We'll see how much of a monster he is as we pick up this. And it's a stardust, which we could sell for monies. So that's good. Let's see if we have a good item we can give him. I think we have a miracle seed we can give her, which would be awesome. Stardust, plume, follow. We're getting, getting a lot of stuff here. Here's the Miracle Seed. We're going to give that to, uh, I don't know. And her Mega Drain will be much more powerful now. So that's great. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, and we got a, a battle here. Let's see what we got. We got a battle against a Dwebble, which is another cool Pokemon. But I'm not going to catch one because, I mean, I've already got so many Pokemon that, yeah. Let's see. Let's hope that this uh, Marcactus can do some work. Come on, I don't know. I don't know, man. Use, uh, I don't know, use use Mega Drain? I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be a terrible joke. I'm not going to use it anymore. Anyway, accuracy fail. Let's see how much you could do. This is Stab. This is Mega Drain. Oh, that's good, considering he has that uh, big special defense boost because of the Sandstorm. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to be a pretty big fan of, uh, I don't know. Going to use Fan Attack. That shouldn't do too much. Let's see. That's not going to do that much at all. And Mega Drain is going to hit again. And hope maybe a little two shot. It depends. No, just not enough. But that's only because of the stupid sandstorm. So no worries there. And we're gonna go for another Mega Drain. And he's gonna use Rock Polish, which doubles his speed. But that's no problem. As long as everything goes right, we'll finish him off with the Mega Drain, and we will. Didn't even get affected by the sand attack. So that's pretty damn cool. And that's that. So good job. I don't know. That was a good first battle for you. I'm proud of you. Let's see. And looks to level up pretty damn fast, so that's good. Now let's see. I want to see what her nature and ability is. Let's see. Sassy nature. So minus speed up special defense. So tankish. Got this really good special attack. And it's got chlorophyll. So that's pretty random. Too bad there's never going to be a time when I have a sunny day. Oh well. Um, let's see. I keep forgetting who I battle and who I have. I battled this person. They're right near the temple. Yeah. I just gotta go battle that one psychic type person and continue our adventure to the left. Come back here, dude. Come back. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't have a Sigilith. Hopefully he has somebody that I could kill. Bill Ooh, he's gonna show the ability of his Pokemon. Hopefully, since he's got abilities, there's more than one, so get some good EXP. And yep, there's two. Is his name really low? Whatever. Here's a new Pokemon, Yamask. A really cool Pokemon, pure ghost type. And unlike most ghost type, it has monstrous normal defense. It evolves into Cofagrigus, which a lot of people like to use in competitive battling because it really is a good physical wall. But yeah, it's overall a really good Pokemon. Pretty cool. And yeah, so let's see how much we can do to this thing. Oh, that's pretty good damage considering we're two levels below it. So that's awesome. You're going to use Will-O-Wisp. That's like their favorite move, but it's going to miss. And it wouldn't really matter. I have a burn heal and I'm a special attacker anyway, so I'm not too worried. Going to go ahead with the Mega Drain, and that's going to do a nice chunk. And, um, yeah, he's going to use Hex, which don't won't do as much because I'm not under status. And, yeah, I'll finish him off with the Mega Drain this turn. So, uh, I don't know, man. Doing pretty much pretty well, actually, for being so low-leveled and just caught. But that's awesome. Yamask is dead. It's not a Psychic type. I don't know why a Psychic has him, but whatever. And yeah, it looks to level up real fast. And now we have a mana, so we're going to keep her in. And um, hopefully we could just Mega Drain this thing to death. And that'll be awesome. So we actually have Pin Missile. Let's try that out. Super effective and such. Hopefully we can hit more than like twice. Yeah, that does pretty good damage. If we hit three or four times, we'll do some nice damage. Oh, we're going to hit twice, of course. And we're going to be put to sleep by the Hypnosis, which like never misses. Oh, freaking mana. So annoying. But that's okay. He's slowly being buffeted by the sandstorm. Now I just gotta wake up and use Mega Drain. Fall asleep. That's fine. Gonna use Imprison. We don't have any of the same moves again. 
So Mana must have a really limited move pool. I feel bad. Oh well, gonna go ahead and use the Mega Drain. And I'm still asleep though. And he's gonna use Moonlight so he can just stall and be annoying. And he's gonna be... I don't think he should be fully healed. Yeah, we're in a Sandstorm. That shouldn't heal up a lot at all. So... I'm gonna try to wake up again and go for the Mega Drain. Hopefully, I wake up this turn. Nope. Long Sleeper. Hmm. Gonna use Psy Beam, her only attacking move. Which is why Charlie's perfect, because he can't touch Charlie. And that's gonna do a lot of damage. Which is why you gotta wake up this turn and Mega Drain. There we go. Wake up Mega Drain. That should do a lot. Hopefully. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's good. We'll definitely survive another Psy Beam, at least. And, um, hopefully, we can survive the Sandstorm, too. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. We couldn't even survive a normal Psy Beam. Wow. Oh, well. That's fine. We're going to bring in uh, Eudrasiel to go for the Retaliate kill. And that'll be good EXP for Eudrasiel. And, uh, yeah. So, no problems with this mana. Just a little annoying with the freaking long-ass sleep. But that's fine. Kill off the mana and hopefully it'll be a good EXP. And, no, uh, it was pretty good. Psychic Low is defeated. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't, yeah, yeah, okay, so let's continue going, and we can still go a long way left, and now we got a wild Pokemon battle, let's see who we got this time, ooh, it's a Sigilith, ooh, seen all the rare Pokemon today, so here comes Roly Poly, and this is a terrible matchup for me, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna run, I don't want a Sigilith, um, it's not even worth it, yeah, so, oh, we couldn't get away, and that's not good, but he tried to use Whirlwind, but it failed, why couldn't it just work? And we couldn't get away. And now Psybeam, that's going to hurt because I'm part poison. That is going to hurt a lot. But I have the Evil Light, so I should be able to take it. Now, can I please just escape game? Come on. Thank you. Okay. So we escaped Sigilith, no problem. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, look, a Pokemon Ranger in the middle of freaking nowhere. And now, are you serious? He just cut off my path. Are you serious? Wow, what a douchebag. Wow. But it's okay. We'll take out Jaden. He's got the Darumaka, so we're going to have to switch into Daryl. Because he's the best way to take out the Darumakas. Kind of wish I could use, I don't know, but... I don't want to waste a revive early in the game. And stuff. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to switch into Daryl. And um, this thing is probably going to go for Uproar. Because that's the only move I see that they have. I don't even know what else they have. Fire Punch. That's going to hurt a lot. Even though... Daryl can resist that and stuff, but that's fine. Gonna go for the Razor Shell now, and we should be in business. Razor Shell, that'll kill him one shot, hopefully. And, yep, good job, Daryl. Monster. Monster. And Roly Poly, and Daryl gained some EXP, and um, he's got a Blitzel, so I'm gonna have to switch. I'm gonna switch into Eudrasiel because uh, I got the dig on Eudrasiel, so... Never got to use it yet, so let's use it. And yeah, Blitzel. Shouldn't be a problem. Should be easily able to uh, take that. He's going to use Thunder Wave, which really doesn't bother me, just because I'm slower anyway, and I just have to hope I don't get Parahaxed. Which, yeah. Okay, I'm going to Dig, because Dig's a two-turn move. i got to worry about Parahax next turn, too, which kind of sucks. But we'll see what happens. He's going to use Shockwave, Miss, and of course I'm going to have Parahax, because this is annoying. Going to go ahead now. Going to go for Dig again. Nothing else I could do. Going to go Shockwave. I should easily be able to take that. No problem. We'll see. Yeah, no problem. And I'm paralyzed again because this is retarded. And yeah, okay. Going to try again to use Dig now. All my Pokemon are so damn weak and the doctor's so far away. But I think we're almost done with the Desert Resort. And then we can go right to Nimbasa City. And um, I'm paralyzed again, which is really annoying. And then, yeah, mad. Well, Eudrasiel's gonna faint. Nothing I can do. So, Pursuit... I would've died even if I tried to switch, so... Bye, Eudrasiel. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what... I, I think Daryl can outspeed this thing. So I'm gonna go into Daryl. I'm gonna use Retaliate, and that should kill him off, hopefully. We'll see. Daryl, use Retaliate. Nope, it's faster than me. Okay, so Daryl's now dead too, so this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay. This Blitzel is freaking sweeping me. Okay, so I'm going to go now into Charlie because Charlie's got that fake out. 
And that should do good damage. I think Charlie can outspeed this thing. Charlie's going to use Fake Out. And let's see how much that does. Oh, okay, yeah. And hopefully, yep, and I'm faster because I got, okay. And now the Pursuit should kill him off. And I think, indeed, that will kill him off. So that's awesome. And, yep, we are good. Got the useless crit. And finally, that Blitzel is done. And so is Jaden. Who cut off my path, so now I honestly, I honestly have to walk around. Be careful of Burn. Shut up, dude. You're pissing me off. Get out of here. The Pokemon... Okay. Thank you. Anyway, let's hope we don't have to battle any more Pokemon. There's another freaking Ranger here. Are you kidding me? And now there's a battle. We have wild Pokemon, and it is a Darumaka, which really doesn't bother me. I should be able to easily just escape. Gonna have Roly-Poly... That's no problem. Roly Polo should be able to escape. Hopefully. And we got away safely, so that's good. I'm going to put Charlie in the front of the party just because he's really fast and pretty much the best option I have to escape. So I'm going to go ahead and try to... Nope, of course there's another wild Pokemon battle. And this time it is a sand dial, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to run because these things are pretty damn slow anyway. And, um... I, re I really just want to get out of this place. I want to explore the because there's a little part there that I want to see if I can find anything, and then I'm done. But until then, it's just kind of annoying me. Gonna go ahead and uh, see if... I think I have a repel somewhere. Let's see. Net Here we go, repel. Oh, we have two repels. Awesome. Okay, let's use the repel. Oh my god, now how'd she see me? She wasn't even looking this way. Whatever. Okay. Here comes a heated battle against the ranger, and they're pissing me off, but hopefully she only has one or two Pokemon. Okay, she only has one Pokemon, so... Oh, and it's a Ducklet, it's a new Pokemon. Pretty cool Pokemon, water flying type. It's, uh, it's actually got even attack and special attack, and it's pretty fast, so you could use it as a good uh, sweeper, mix sweeper, whatever you want to do. But yeah, it evolves into uh, Swanna, and then that's about it gonna fake out and that's not gonna do a lot at all actually hmm I'm gonna go for the pursuit just because I don't think grass knot will do more so I'm gonna pursuit and that'll do a really good chunk he's gonna use aqua ring which will just nullify the effects of sandstorm so I'm totally fine with that actually now I'm gonna go for the pursuit and uh, I'll finish him off okay and that ranger battle wasn't as bad as I thought it would be so that was that was good and that was really nice. Thank you for the EXP though, Ducklet. Not not even close to leveling me up, but thank you. Hot hot hot. Okay. Let us continue. Oh my God, speed. Oh, what is with them and burns, man? There's only one Pokemon here that burns you, and that's Darumaka, and Yamas, but that's only in the Relic Temple. Anyway, here's where I want it to go, and let's see. There better be something here. Okay, there better be something. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Go get it. Ooh, another TM, Rock Tomb. Hell yeah. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Rock Tomb. It's a Rock-type move. You know, it's not that good, but hey, it's a Rock-type move, so... Move versatility is always good. And I think we are officially done with the Desert Resort, so let us use that one other Repel that we have. And let's try to get to the Pokemon Doctor and heal up so we can get to Nimbasa City. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we've done everything we can here. Let's see. Yeah, I battled the Psychic that was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I'm done with this place. So the Desert Resort offered us a lot of adventures, a lot of new, a new friend, uh, some leveling up. Here's the Doctor that we were looking for, so that is friggin' sweet. And yeah, even though it was kind of really annoying at the end, we made it through. And uh, yeah, let's see who can learn Rock, uh, Rock Tomb. Try to get some good moves going on in here. Rock Tomb. Physical. It has really bad accuracy now that I look at it, but that's okay. And nobody can learn it anyway, so that whole trip was useless, but that is okay. That is, you know, it's uh, it's about the journey, not the destination, you know what I mean? Something like that. Anyway, let's try to get to Nimbasa ASAP. Um, still in the freaking desert, no more repels, and of course we're going to have a wild battle. It is going to be against a little sand dial, and it is level 20 sand dial, and I don't even care. Charlie's just going to run, not even worth the EXP. It won't even level up, so I was thinking about it, but no. 
And it's the Intimidate Sand Isles, so I may not have killed it anyway with the Fake Out Grass Knot combo, so we're going to run. Get away safely. Awesome. Let's go. So, um, yeah, the desert. Pretty cool place, in my opinion. A lot of cool Pokemon. Marcactus, Sigilith, Tarumaka, Sandile, Scraggy. Lots and lots of cool Pokemon. But I am so glad to be out of it. I think we are near the end. One last backpacker. Traveling. Oh, here we go. One last battle here on Route 4. And, um... Then I think we'll finally, finally reach Nimbasa City. And he's going to have a P-Dub, so this will be absolutely no problem for my Charlie, as long as he doesn't roost stall me to piss me off. So we're going to go ahead now, go for the Fake Out. Fake Out, and we're going to go for the Pursuit after that. And we should all all do good. Oh, that is, that is an easy 2-hit KO, and I am faster, so as long as he doesn't just use Detect to piss me off, we're all good. And, yep, we are all good. Charlie killing off the PETA. Beautifully job. Okay, and I think that was our last battle of the uh, desert. So sweet. Let's walk up and see if we have anything else to do here. And, no, I see the exit right up here. So thank you guys for watching. And next time we will finally be back in civilization and explore Nimbasa City. So thanks for watching. Later days.